Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, I was spent the past few days um, sliming a little bit, just converting some of my gold back into Astro Gems and kind of preparing a little bit for Heroes Festival. Um, someone actually asked me a few videos back, like, what which festival is better like is is the clan festival better or is the heroes festival better the way i see it in my opinion i think the clan festival is actually better if you just want something good but the heroes fest gives you something um something that like you something specific something specific that you would want now in this video i'm going to talk about a trick that i use to to catch slimes um you'll you'll see it I'll do it once, then the second time I'll I'll talk about it. Like what I'm actually doing. So if you're super new to the game and you have no idea what sliming is, um, basically you can go into the story maps and you can catch a lot of slimes and e evolve them into an evil three king slime. And in that process, you will be able to complete multiple repeatable quests. And those repeatable quests will give you astral gems. So what you're essentially doing is you're con you're converting your time and gold back into astral gems. Um, I think. Oh yeah, I have enough room. I have enough room. I do have enough room. I'm planning to farm golden for the pa for the next little while, so I, I I don't really need that much room. I just need to make sure I have a bit of um, a bit of gold and astral gems. And then um, when the next fest festival comes around, I can slime, and I can also um, I can also use those astro gems to do summoning. So I think that'll be pretty good. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to catch a few slimes, and then um, we'll, we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about this. You'll see this a few times, and then I'll I'll actually slow down and explain it. Um, but for those of you that are super super new and you have no idea what sliming is, it's basically, you know, just you just go in, you catch slimes, you convert gold into astro gems, and the math is um, 330k gold turns into 100 astro gems because every evil two monster that you make, you get 10 astro gems from the repeatable quest, and um, every evil three monster you get 60 astro gems. So in order to make an evil three, you need to make four evil twos, and if, and do the evil three ev evolution so 40 plus 60 equals 100 gold um, I actually messed that up because I was talking so that wasn't too fast but if you're like super serious you want to know life it this is this is the way to way to do it like really really fast So you, what you want to do is you want to catch 16 slimes, right? Um, the first catch, what I do is I always, um, a lot of people know this, they do this in PvP. Sometimes they do this when they're farming dragons and stuff. Um, if you go in and you, and there's like an animation, this can be used on the zoom in animation or this animation. What you do is you pause, unpause, and then it actually speeds up the, the animation of, of what happens after, after you click skip. So um, basically you save yourself a few seconds of time every single time that you do it. And if you do it every single time, it does add up quite a, quite a lot. Um, but the trick I wanted to show you guys, the, the trick that I showed while I was catching some random monster, but I didn't show this ever while I was sliming, is on the third catch, you see I use, already used up two astro gems, right? On the third catch, when you go in and you catch the slime, um, what you want to do is you want to pause, unpause, pause again, and then just quit. And the reason why you do this is um, this animation over here, this will be sped up. When the, those like black boxes come out, um, that animation is also sped up. So the whole entire animation afterwards is sped up if you do that. And that actually saves you like three seconds time um, every single time that you do it. And you don't need to see the, the ending animation because if you, if you catch the slime, it will be added to your inventory. And if you don't catch it, well, you you, will, you wouldn't catch it anyway. So, you know, it, it's a it's a win-win situation. Um, I can't remember how many slimes I have right now. I think I, I think I uh, was talking the whole entire time, um, but I think I have maybe six, possibly seven. Oh, and see us remove that song. Sad.
See, this whole entire animation is sped up. You can just skip through it really fast. And then immediately start the next one. You know, after I reinstalled my computer, I never changed the cursor back to my uh, cursor that I was using before. So it looks a little bit more boring. Maybe I should set it up. It actually looks quite nice, like, to use that cursor for MSL. Oh man, maybe I should find a cursor that, like, looks, uh, closer to the theme. Whoops, I missed that. So uh, the the reason why I was uh, I was actually trying to go for the Heroes Fest is I I want to get a Balrona like I want to get the Wood Balrona, not the other ones. I don't, I don't care that much about the other ones. Although the Water one is is very very strong for uh, PVP. I messed that one up. Um, <laughs> or not PV P not PVP for uh, for Titans. But I want the wood one for PvP, because if you remember the uh, the video I made a few days back, you see all the light defenses. I think Wood Balrona is probably one of the strongest RGB monsters that you can use for for PvP, and I and I don't like following the meta. I've been I've been running triple dark mihos before before all the buffs to dark mihos. Like I just I just happen to have them. I ran them for defense and they work super well. And I've been basically just spamming Dark Mihos ever since. Alright, I think we have enough. Maybe my math is really, really bad. But we actually have enough. And it only took a few minutes. To make a hundred astro gems. Oh crap. Misclick. See that was the that was a repeatable quest for ten astro gems. And then you do this a, a second time. And then you, you have to make sure you go out, grab the quest, that's another 10. Like, 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 all right, we're back. Okay, we're good. Um, so that's two. Even the YouTube's lagging, that's funny. Right, that's two. If you forget to do this a single time, basically you waste your, wasted your time because uh, you only make about a 10% profit if you're farming like golems B7 to 9. I think you make slightly more if you're farming B10. So you only, every time that you convert your gold into astrogems, astrogems to use for go farming golems and then back to converting into, um, back to converting into astrogems, you make about 10% profit. But if you fail to go and and grab it a single time then you you don't get anything now the the second quest and the third quest the, the evil two quest and the evil three quests are different are different quests so after you do the the fourth one you can actually uh just straight out evil three it and then release and then go and grab two quests, and we converted 330,000 uh, gold into 100 Astro Gems. So that was the that was the trick I wanted to show you guys. The one where you pause, well, not the pause and pause, because everyone knows that. But the pause and pause, pause, and then quit right before it, it ends. Um, yes, that's that's pretty much it. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, make a make a quick video. Um, originally I was going to do a 
do an account review. I will do that in the next video. Um, but I had a lot of problems logging into somebody else's account. And uh, this idea just caught, kind of popped up in my head because, you know, I was, I was farming, I was turning gold into astrogens um, for, for quite a bit. If you check my last video versus this video, you'll see that a lot of that gold has been converted into astrogens. And that's why I decided to make a, I think this is like the third video I made about sliming. But this is probably like the, the ultimate one until, uh, until I discover any new tricks that can make this even faster. But I think this is probably the fastest it can go. Um, probably want to go into the battle without any sort of synergy bonus. I, I kind of forgot to do that because the synergy bonus actually slows down the time. Um, when you enter the battle and the synergy pops up, you might want to go go in without any sort of synergy this way. Because you don't need to kill the monsters anyways, right? So you just go in with a team that has zero synergy and, um, and that might work. So wait, how can I make a zero synergy team? Shouldn't be too difficult. Make a team with no synergy at all. So we got one fire monster. Okay. We got one water monster. Okay. And then um, we got another wood monster. Okay, and they're they're all evil three, so that's not gonna work. Um, so we need an evil one wood monster. And then the last monster can be any monster. And this one is also, um, yes, this one is also not evil three, but I might have used too many attackers, so we will have to use something that is not an attacker, like this. And I remember to use two male, two two female, so this way it won't. Um, wait, what? What sy synergy is this? Oh, you're an attacker too. All right. Uh, how about that? Wait, no, that's three water. How about this? No, no synergy. All right, there we go. I used uh, two nat random nat fives. I have zero synergy. So if you go in with this team, then there shouldn't be any problems at all. Yep, this should be super, super fast. I think a lot of people are annoyed about the synergy on the map. Um, because they want to farm story a lot faster. It's got to make a farming team with no synergy. It's working against us. But it's so good for PvP. It's actually quite good for golems as well. Because it made my team a lot more stable. And I'd rather have it more stable. But anyways, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.